and we just got there on Thursday and on when was it Saturday, Saturday. yeah uh, two sheriff's officers came up sheriff's deputies sheriff I guess. officers yeah told <laughs> us pretty much we had to leave So this is the Butler Wash Ruins hike. Uh, it's on BLM land in Utah off of Utah State Road 95. Outside, uh, about 20 miles outside of Blanding. So this uh, hike, the Butler Wash Ruins uh, hike, is about a mile round trip is all very short hike it brings us up to the Butler wash ruins overlook uh, the cliff dwellings ahead were built and occupied by the Anazi Indians about 700 years ago Mule Canyon Overlook Trail. We're just taking it up to the House of Fire ruins. And it's supposed to be about a mile. I guess we'll see it. What happens. Right? Right. House of Fire ruins part of the Mule Canyon, I believe it is, trail. And um, we call it uh, House of Fire because when the light hits the top of this at the right angle, it looks like fire. This is a pretty easy two mile round trip hike. It's very hard to imagine that the ancient Anasazi actually lived there. And they lived there between 700 and 1,000 years ago. If you continue on for about two more miles, there are about seven more ruins that you can explore. Our next stop is the Double Stack Ruins.
thing is pretty steep right there. Yeah. It's steep up the other side too. Yeah. All right, hold you on to your hats. We're gonna slide down this baby. So we made it to the double stack ruins. Uh, I don't know how the heck they made it up there to get to that. Love the colors on the uh, rock formation though, huh? Here's the other part of the ruins down here. Now those they could get to. Chris and I really enjoyed exploring this area. The ruins are really cool. Some of the rock art was pretty amazing. Um, there are two sweat lodges located here. This trail is actually 1.3 miles one way. The elevation at max is about 4,600 feet. The tilted rock layers are called monocline, a step-like fold in the rock. The ridge runs north to south for approximately 80 miles. The biggest challenge to this trail was trying to find the correct trail. There are no signs marking the turnoffs, so Chris had to follow his GPS pretty closely. So we left our um, boondocking spot just outside of Bluff, Utah, and we're headed now to Green River, Utah, just outside of Moab. We're on Highway 191 heading north. Chris? Hey. What do you have to add to that? Oh, it's just too bad we can't stop in any of these nice places we're passing through right now. Canyonlands and uh, Arches National Park. But, uh, as you can see, the roads are not very busy. We have to stop in Moab and dump our tanks and get uh, water, um, get gas, I guess. Uh, other than that, then we're gonna be headed to Crystal Geyser, a uh, boondocking spot in uh, Green River, Utah. Yeah, Maverick. We should talk about Maverick. So since we've been in Arizona, Maverick has been our best friend. They usually have pretty good gas prices. They have a great dump station for free. So, you know, if you're moondocking in the Arizona, Utah area, look for a Maverick with a dump station. It's very handy. Yeah, not all of them have dump stations, though. Right, true. But uh, we find out which ones do on Sandy Dump. It's a uh, website or there's an app called Sandy Dump where you can find all the dump stations in the area. You made it. I did. There's still more. Yeah. Come on, we'll go on up. Look how far we are from home. Yeah. Cool. Let's play the climb. I don't see us. Hi everybody, we just wanted to do a really quick update, let you know where we are and what's been going on the last few days. Yeah, um, we, the last place we were at was Crystal Geyser in Green River, Utah. Um, it was about 40-50 miles north of the Moab area. 
and we just got there on Thursday and on what was it Saturday, Saturday. yeah uh, two sheriff's officers came up sheriff's deputies sheriff I guess. officers yeah deputies <laughs> came up and uh, told us pretty much we had to leave there was no camping in that area um, so it was about 3 30 in the afternoon we tried to negotiate to stay the night and not have to leave until morning but they said absolutely not we had to leave right then yeah i mean we were i just told them hey we're trying to stay away from everybody we were the only ones camping out there no one else was around us um but uh anyway so well, i guess they wanted us to go into town yeah whatever <laughs> see more people <laughs> But uh, we ended up leaving there, and uh, we made our way up uh, about an hour and a half north, uh, northwest, to um, toward the Price area, and we stayed the night on uh, just kind of close to the highway. It was a BLM area, but um, we just stayed the night there, stayed hooked up until we could uh, leave the next morning. And then we headed off to... So now we're up in the Vernal, I think they call it, Utah area. Um, we're at Pelican Lake. It's a lake here off of 191. Um, I guess it was, it was on a compendium and free campsites as a free campsite, but it looks like they're going to try to make it a pay campsite at $10 a night. So anyway, we'll give you a little bit more information. Um, we just want to say thanks for watching our videos. We appreciate it. If you want to, um, like, subscribe, and leave a comment or two. That'd be great. Until next time. Bye now. Bye.